Yeah, it's probably going to start at 4. Hey guys, I am here with Wesley So, who just drew the rapid game against Levon. Um, Wesley, can you tell us a few thoughts about this game? <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Well, it's rapid, so I've always liked playing... Oh, sorry, this mouse won't work. I've always you, liked playing the Sicilian, <laughs> the Sicilian Night Dwarf. Like, I actually played a lot online. Uh, like it's, uh, I, I just, I just like the structure where White uh, basically wastes a lot of time moving his kingside knight, and the next move you're gonna kick it again. And I just, I just like this structure with the knight on f6, bishop e7, bishop e6, knight e7. But unfortunately, there's so mu too much theory. That's why, I, that's why I rarely play it. But I was surprised that one played bishop c4. He's played this in. A few games, mm -hmm. uh, but I've also played it myself with White, and actually I've studied it for White, and I didn't think it was much like Ray you, played. You the, played this against Ray, right? The bishop c4. Yeah, he went for g6, which is probably an even easier way to equalize, mm -hmm. like g6, bishop g7, and then e6 to combine both. But I also looked at e6, and I was hoping to get a fighting game, try to force the issue, you know, that one of us will win, but. Uh, uh, yeah, here he played uh, knight f1, mm, and then I'm not really sure what the best move for black here is. I mean, maybe rook, rook d8 is also possible to prepare d5, mm -hmm. and if the bishop retreats, then you can go b5. Uh, but uh, yeah, generally white, black just wants white just wants to trick black. Like you know, Richard Report had the game last year where his pawn played rook b8, and then white just got a big advantage. Basically, once you get this structure, like takes, takes, bishop b1 here, white is a huge advantage. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, I mean, bishop c4 has become quite fashionable lately. I think Magnus also played it against me last year, and he's also played a few times. Uh, Richard has played it. But um, apparently here in this position, d takes c4 is a mistake according to the computer. So the best move is d4, just to gain some space. And then after e5, either knight d7 or knight d5. Mm -hmm. But I've seen d4 before. But I thought d takes e4 looked a lot more natural. And here I was quite happy with my position after bishop b7. Because pawn e5 is weak. If I could get c4, knight c5, I could quickly become better. But the computer is not impressed. Recommends knight g5 or queen d3. Like, I guess I thought black is doing very well here. But Wilder doesn't like it. But fortunately for Levon, he was spending a lot of time, so it wasn't easy to play. So he decided to simplify with AB5 takes. And uh, yeah, he mentioned yeah. he was considering that line, but yeah, wasn't sure. Ah, he didn't. He did consider it. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, apparently white is just better. But I mean, that's the thing with computer these days. When you look at it from a human perspective, and it seems that black is completely fine, but then. Uh, you know, the engine likes space and an initiative on the king side, attack on the king. So it's a very interesting position. But um, yeah, he decided to simplify. And I guess it was pretty, pretty, pretty drawish. Like I could play queen c6, and the game would probably, and then they're both trying to keep the game going just because it looked very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so it definitely seemed like it worked out. I mean, it, for sure, you were the one playing it for this uh, for the win. No, I was just playing like okay, yeah, maybe knight e3 and then c4 bishop d3 bishop f1 mm -hmm. and it's a fortress. No, I think it's just a draw. Like uh, he probably missed rook b3 and he was unhappy that he had to give up a second pawn. But uh, fortunately for him, it's it, my king is a bit too passive. Like if I don't, if I don't play f5 now, then he could bring the bishop to f1, and then. Probably just uh, a draw. Uh, meanwhile, here um, the knight on e5 is very well placed, uh, mm -hmm. so I, I didn't see anything. For example, here Levon mentioned uh, knight takes, and I guess it's just a draw. Uh, is it a draw? <laughs> it's, I mean, I, I wouldn't trust this engine too much. Actually, I would. I would trust your <laughs> your eval more. Actually. Oh, okay. Because I could have gone for this, but. And because if it goes here, then I guess my king infiltrates uh, king e4 or something. Yeah, but I just he and I both thought that uh, that this end game is a draw. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I would take your guys' word for it. 
Um, we got hey, two uh, more games. Okay, probably, probably just a drop. <laughs> anyway, I blundered with rook e4, and here I just yeah. blundered everything. But uh, fortunately, yeah, I mean, fortunately, it's, it's, still a, it's still a drop because all I need to do is hunt his knight down. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty decent game, I guess, yeah. Well, you got two more games coming up. Um, how do you rate your chances? <clears throat> well, I still got chances. I'm not sure how big they are, but I'm still alive. Like, I wouldn't rate my chances very highly four days ago because I had to win three matches in a row. Mm -hmm. And especially, like, I have to go through Fabi. It was very tough. And also raised very good form. But I still got chances, and as long as I got chances in a tournament, I will fight and give my best. So I'll rest up and try to... Give my very best tomorrow. All right, thanks, Oise. We'll wish you the best of luck and look forward to those games. Yes, thank you. Guys, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Kostya, and thank you, Wesley, indeed.